you're doing it wrong. Well, <laughs> at least in most cases I've seen, most people don't know how to properly toggle between multiple Google accounts. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that and give you one of the best tips that I have ever learned. Once I learned how to do this, it just totally changed how I manage all of my various Google accounts. And I have a ton of Google accounts, but most likely you have at least two if you came here to this video. So you may have your work or school account and you probably have a personal Google account or Gmail account. So when you're working sometimes, you need to go back and forth between those two accounts. And a lot of times what I've discovered is most people just don't know the simple trick of using Chrome profiles. So most likely when you are logged in, say to Google Drive, like you see here, and you come up here to your account, this is how you switch. You click on your other account and open a new tab. So I've got two tabs open that are logged into two different Google Drive accounts. Now, this is just tab management and it gets really confusing. So if you have ever used this method, most likely you have found yourself running into some issues. For instance, you may click on a link that someone shared with you and it says, hey, you're using the wrong account. And you're like, no, I'm not, I'm using the right account. Well, it gets really, really tiresome trying to manage things this old way here. And this is what I used to do. But the more accounts that I added to this list, the more confusing that it got. And the more I learned about Google Chrome, the better my life began. So Google Chrome is the learning environment for all things Google. So the first thing you need to know is you need to be using Google Chrome if you're not already. Um, Google Chrome is just a breath of fresh air. It's going to resolve a lot of the issues that you have. And it's, it's by far my favorite browser, especially because I'm such a big Google user, but also because I've had so many teachers have issues with using other browsers, especially that little blue E thing that we so commonly see. So stop using the blue E, you know what I'm talking about, and switch to Google Chrome. Especially if your school is giving you the option, your life is just gonna be so much easier using Google tools inside Google Chrome, because guess what? Google works best with Google. They're designed, you're gonna have features and things that work inside Chrome that do not work or do not work as well inside other browsers. So that's the first thing I wanna make sure everybody's using Google Chrome. The next thing is I wanna go back into um, my browser here and show you how we clean this up. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stop doing it this way, okay? That's the old way, that's the bad way. And to do this, I just wanna start off with a clean, clean slate. So the first thing I want you to do is to click on sign out, and I want you to remove every account you see in this list, just to start off and get everything on the right foot. So I'm gonna click on remove account, and then we'll see the X's, yes, remove. Go back, click remove account, click on the X, and remove any account that's listed there till it comes back to a clean sign in, okay? Now, we're not gonna sign back in just yet. What I want you to think about is what is your primary account? So, for instance, which account do you use the most? Which account do you want to set up first? So I'm gonna call this your primary account. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is we want to take a look at something called Chrome Profiles. This is how you will be toggling or switching back and forth from now on. So in Chrome, now I am on a Mac and I am using the Chrome browser. However, the Chrome browser is very consistent across devices. Now, if you're on a Chromebook, this looks a little bit different. So I will be making a separate tutorial specific to Chromebooks. Now, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to go to your three dots and go into settings. 
So when you go to settings, you will see if you are logged into a Chrome profile, whatever account that is right there. Okay. Now you may or may not be logged into anything. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to take note of which account you're logged in here. And if you're not logged in with your primary account, log in here with your primary account. Okay, so if you wanna sign out and log in with a different account, or if you um, don't have anything logged in, go ahead and sign in with that primary account. Remember, that's where we're starting. Sync, this is going to sync bookmarks, passwords, whatever you want. You choose whether you want to turn that on. So you have several options the first time that you log in, and we will see that in just a moment when we add a different profile. So just in case you haven't seen this before, hang on because I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. Okay, so I'm logged into this account. So I want to make sure that I sign into this account in Google Drive. Okay, so now I'm logged back into Drive. And I'm going to make sure. So this is my primary account here. And up here, you see where it says, um, I hover and it says trainer, but there's a little icon there. That's my Chrome profile. And that's a little image that represents that Chrome profile. If you click here, you'll also see a list of any profiles you have already created. So the idea is that you wanna log into Google Apps, your G Suite account or whatever it is, Gmail, with the same account that you're using in the Chrome profile. Those logins are separate and not everyone understands that, okay? So I'm gonna actually add a new account because the one that I wanna use next is not actually listed here, okay? So there are two ways we can do that. I can click on Manage People and I get this little pop-up here and I can click Add Person. You can also get here by going to the three dots, Settings, and manage other people will also bring up this same pop-up. So I'm gonna add a person and I'm gonna, gonna name this my next account here. I can choose a little icon to represent this particular one and I'm gonna click add. What's gonna happen is it opens up a brand new Google Chrome window. So do you see this? I'm still logged into Trainer. That's my Trainer account. And this is my Trainer account, right? Remember? And it'll show you just by hovering. But this one is brand new, okay? This one is going to be logged in with my other account. So it will ask you twice if you want to turn on Sync. I like Sync. I'm on my personal computer, so I have no issues with turning this on here. But if you're syncing things to a another machine, keep in mind where you're syncing things. Do you want your personal bookmarks and history saved to your work computer, etc.? If you're on a public computer, don't do this. This is not something that you do on a public computer. You don't want to save your Chrome profile to uh, a, an open computer, say in the library or in a computer lab or at some sort of um, kiosk somewhere. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I'm going to log in with my other account. Now here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna see the first time you try to do this, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna link your data to this account? So as I mentioned earlier, this is a personal choice and it's a very important one to pay attention to. Do you want it to save your apps, bookmarks, history, passwords, and any other settings, right? So this is great, it follows you where you go. So for me, when I move between my desktop and my laptop, all of my stuff is there, okay? Before you ask, everybody asks this, can I automatically move all of my settings from my school account and have it apply to my personal account or vice versa? No, Google sees an account as separate. Um, you own your account, but they don't, they want to protect it. So it's, it's actually in your interest that you can't do that. So you will have to manually adjust those settings, install your extensions, et cetera to your other accounts. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click on link data and turn on sync. So here it is, and here's my account. Happened to save it with the little T. 
Um, I think I didn't choose a little icon. You can go back and, and change some things too if you want to. But again, this is a completely separate account from the one we have here, okay? So now, for instance, if I go to Drive, and I can see that I'm logged in with Teacher Demo here. So this is the best way to toggle, toggle is between window to window with each window install uh, running a different Chrome profile. This will save you so much time and so many headaches. It may take you a little bit to set up, but I promise it is worth it. This is absolutely one of the biggest things that has helped me using Google, especially because I have so many Google accounts. So again, just to show you, when you have your window open and you have everything set up and you're ready to toggle, you just click up here on whatever little icon you have and you switch to the account that you wanna use. And so I've got trainer open or I can open any of my other ones here for you. So I hope this helps you as much as it did me. This is a quick update. I did a video like this several years ago and it still um, has helped a lot of people, but things have kind of moved just like things do with Google and have been updated. So I wanted to be sure and give you um, this little tip. Now, if you want more tips and tricks, please visit my blog at shakeuplearning.com.